Welcome to the Digital Nomad Tarot Read. This is Sunday the 24th of October. It's a weekly read dedicated to digital nomads. A collective read for whoever resonates of any sign. I'm letting you see my ridiculously simple setup so you can laugh at me. That's okay. I'm not a tech guy. <laughs> so, Samsung S10 phone. And uh, here we are on the balcony. Four cards, and it's kind of getting a general reading uh, for our um, digital no bands here. Not a no, not a love reading. We'd already shuffle. We'll put a little energy on. So just finished the pet reading. That's up too today. Do join me for the soul family read. Check it out. It's a short read for whoever resonates as well. If you have it, because um, I got to feel a lot of digital nomads might relate to that. It's just uh. Like Terrence McKenna said, find the others. It's that kind of read. I talk a little more personally about more spirituality and manifestation. And mostly I'm a love and relationship channel. The heart spread and meet the soulmate reads. Today, you know, I don't know with digital nomads, it's kind of always a work read, isn't it? Unless I say specifically a love read. Do you want that? Look at your sign. <laughs> I think I'll give it more specific. This will definitely go to work and lifestyle. Okay. Wow, the sun. So now this is meant to show where you're at right now, uh, separate from really work or kind of just your energy. And you're just glowing, glow up. Um, physically would be feeling good, uh, mentally sharp. Um, in astrology, you can speak to. Uh, very positive um, outer planet aspects to your natal sun, you know, um, it puts you in this amazing, uh, good place. I mean, if this is your reading, then you're going to be kind of, uh, you know, identifying with that to some degree here. Um, definitely feeling good, feeling positive, looking good. Probably like people literally, when you're like this, people literally are like just coming up to you and going, man, you, you, you really look good. I mean, it doesn't even have to be sleazy, might be, but it's like, you know, you, you, you're you hot. And now, problem the problem with the Empress, that'd be a hell of a, a role to do the Sun and the Empress together. But this is the position of what's blocking. So now we're looking at the Empress reversed. It's not the same thing. So this is the energy then. Wow, what a block to the Sun, huh? I always want to go internal with these guys, but I got this could be a person in your life that's literally somehow against you. And I'm a, almost, I'm a strong, I'm almost not a believer in that. It's like, unless I've been put in prison or something. But God, it feels like that. Let me just clarify this. Look at this, King of Swords. And I think this might speak more directly to this person's astrological aspects. Aquarius, most likely, maybe Libra, uh, could be Gemini, uh, but air energy and someone that's uh, very strong. You got the Empress reversed, and you've got the King of Swords upright. So, um, um, I, I, you know, I, I hate to go like this, like lowball with this, but bitch on wheels. This is like bitch on wheels stuff. This is like really a verbal abuse, verbally abusive uh, person here. Um, take all of the imp empress and like reverse it. It's uh, a, a real can be a real nastiness, and with the forcefulness, it, I use hard to get much more forceful uh, than the king of swords. You know, particularly in terms of communication. Um, now, my guess is this would be some kind of uh, negative pushback uh, from somebody that doesn't like what you're doing in terms of probably being a digital nomad, whatever your lifestyle is here, guys. Um, but, you know, the sun is the strongest thing in the galaxy. The sun trumps the king of swords. The sun trumps the empress. She may not want to believe it, but it's the way it is. Now, this is advice from spirit for this situation nostalgia looking at soul contracts here I like to go deep if you're spiritually minded as well 
Um, this is the Soulmate card. It definitely doesn't refer to whoever this person is here that's uh, standing as such a, such a block for you. But I believe, like, if you look at this as where you're at, and you look at this as advice from spirit, it's like this being the sun and just really being yourself, really shining. This is like, honestly, I mean, this here block, this is like mom and dad pulling the money, mom and dad controlling. Could be, a, a, you know, a spouse, a, a ex, a, a something like this. Workers, well, your work trying to control you and this kind of thing but when you're in that kind of energy you're moving toward your soul work and I believe this is not a love reading so I'm going to say this is your soul work you know Venus can represent work particularly when we love our work and if you're a digital nomad you probably love your work I hope you do because it's pay sucks frankly <laughs> book of reading I'm really good <laughs> but uh, oh it's so rewarding right <laughs> sorry um, but yes this is beautiful really uh, and I see them like a speed bump they're trying to block it boom boom told you the sun would trump that stuff but now the outcome here is uncertainty we got the bottom of the deck coming in with the seven of cups but coming after the Six of Cups, I think I got you thinking. I think I got you thinking. If you made it this far, you know, uh, you went ba -doop, boop and you see this Six of Cups. You're heading towards, you know, your soul's purpose, what you're meant to do. It's just like a love. When you meet that person, you feel like you've known each other and you connect. And it's not weird. And you're just like amazing. And it's sort of that. It's like you're finding that in your work. Or maybe both, if you're a lucky boy or girl. But the lucky boy or girl. <laughs> and seven of cups. I think it's going to open things up. And you're going to have choices here. That's what this is going to do. I think, I'd I think I'm think i going to go with the ba -dump bump I don't know how to write that. Maybe put it in the reading. Because this King of Swords character. And Empress Reverse. Bitch on Wheels. But don't bump and you're into your soul's work and you're going out it, it could be keep in mind now this is what tarot's for um stay up on the readings uh, maybe look at your um look at this the soul family read i think would help a lot um because you know it could be it could be a little confusing this whole thing but look at your bottom of the deck is the ace of pentacles from don't like don't worry about when things it's like your mind's gonna go kapow with possibilities once you're over the speed bump you're gonna go bump bump and you're gonna be into your soul's six cup thing and then your mind's gonna explode in your heart you're gonna be like oh my god I didn't realize what I have here it's so amazing and it's gonna kind of be a little scary a little bit of blow in your mind a little bit of opening Pandora's box there going on but be cool you got this Make a solid decision. Go with the solid decision. You're already doing something cool as fuck. Let's just say it like that. You're probably doing something cool as fuck. Flat out. Starting out. So now, make the most solid choice of all the opportunities that are about to pop off for you, digital nomad friends. Thank you. Like, thumbs up. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Do subscribe. Thank you, guys.